Day five here in Guatemala with Franz from Casavir Lodge. He's found some deep water groupers. You ready to get them? Yes, we are. Let's go get them, bro. Let's go okay. get them. I got them. I got them good right now. You got some bait. Oh, yeah. Butterfish. I got the weight. You can just, just you hook them in one second. I got them. We got enough bait. Time to go grouper fishing? Of course. Let's go catch the groupers. You know, I've never used a uh, horn belly or a butterfish for bait. And you said they're amazing. Oh, they are great for groupers. I mean, the thing is that the blue runners, only the big groupers eat it. But, but yeah. like the 5 to 15 pounders, they love those little things. Really? Yeah, you'll see. It might change my life because in Florida we throw those away. That's because they're trash bait. Excellent bottom bait. All right. Okay, let's go catch him. Franz is uh, he's baiting on some bonita. We cut, he caught a bonita earlier and we're putting that on the hook here. We got a horn belly here. There's the, there's the horns right there. You don't want to get stabbed by that. That's miserable. Drop it down. Here we go. Grouper time. Fish on. You think it is, Franz? I think that's a grouper for sure. Grouper for sure? Feels good. Feels good. He's got some weight to him. Definitely worth five pounds, I'd say. There he is. I see color. I see color. Oh, wow. Is that a snowy? We're going to see three types of uh, groupers. That's a cherna. They want to see a red one is called gallina in Spanish, and the dotted one is called cabria. What do you call this one? That's cherna. Cherna. It looks like a Warsaw. I think it's a Warsaw. I'm pretty sure it is. I could be wrong. We're in the Pacific, not in the Atlantic. But it looks like a Warsaw grouper. I, I could be very wrong. You guys know better than I do. I don't know. I, I, they, I don't know the exact translation, but yeah. there's different names for, for, for each grouper type. So yeah. there's Cherna, Gaina, and Cabria. That, that's the ones I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna trust your judgment on the on the idea of the fish. All right. All right. Grouper sandwich coming up. Dropping down. Here we go. Got one on. What it is? I see color. Uh oh. Ooh, that's a new species. What is this one? Oh, that's a tiri. Look at that fish, guys. I've never seen one of those before. What do you call it again? Tiri. Tiri? Tiger. Tiger. It's because a tiger of the grouper. Colors, I don't know. That's a big one. For tiri, it's a big one. The best ones are the cabrias. Is that the one we caught earlier, right? No, that's the one. That's the cherna. The cherna is good. This goes below the cherna and the cabria. Ah, there he goes. Two species of grouper. We're looking for the shira. Cherna. Cherna. Cherna is our main thing, and if we find a big cabria, it's good too. Fish on. Okay, okay. Chicken rig. Here we, go, here we go. I see color. I see color. Oh, the red one. Caina grouper. Which one? Caina grouper. Caina grouper. Keeping him? Yes. All groupers go to the box. Yeah. The, those you salt and you oven complete, and then you just peel the salt off, and it's amazing. Really? Is this the best eating one? Ah, I would say cabria. We're still looking for them. All right, all right, all right. Damn, that's, that's a pretty cool looking fish tail. All right, so we got a ballyhoo on the bottom hook. We got a live bait on the middle hook, and we got a piece of bonita on the top hook. Okay, drop it down. Are you always biting again? Back. There we go. Fish on. Come on. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's going down. Oh, there he is. I see color. You got one? Yeah. You got one too? Yeah. Oh, it's big, man. It's big. Oh. Oh. It's a nice one. That's a nice one, man. He probably weighs 15 pounds. Oh, what do you got? Oh, oh my gosh. Look. Oh, it's an eel. <laughs> Dude, that thing's crazy. Look at this, look at this. We got a grouper right here. And we got a moray. How crazy is that? <laughs> got a lot of eels? Yeah, we've been catching them lately here in these reefs. Wow. Okay, bye bye, eel. That's the captain's grouper. What does that mean? That means that's for the boat uh, for, for today's uh, lunch. Ah, oh. ah. Go, drown, drop. Down? Yeah. Go. We're going down. There we go. There we go. This is a good spot. They're chewing here. Trying to pull. Nice one. That's Ooh. the cabria grouper we're looking for. That's about. the one we're looking for, right? That's the best eating one. That's the best eating one. By far. Oh, he's pretty. Look at him. Wow. Look at the spots, dude. That's a beautiful fish. Wow. Oh, it's like eight pounds. Look at the beautiful spots on him. Big old pectoral fins. I mean, a uh, dorsal fin. These things are so strong for their size. Oh my goodness. It's like a bass on steroids. I think we've got four. We have four the... species of grouper. We got five grouper in total. We have the guy. Yeah, we have gaina grouper, tiger grouper. 
Cabria Grouper uh -huh. and Cherna. Ready? Drop, guys. Drop. All right. Están puras listas, sí. You have one? There we go. Come on. I'm gonna stop you. You're not gonna beat me. No way. No way. You wanted that banana. Okay. You're like, ooh, I'll take that. Ah, bonito. Eh, así partido. Oh, he's going again. Ah! Oh my gosh, dude. This is Don't it. overpower with the finger. Just reel. I can't reel. I can't reel. Go with the right hand. Don't stop. Oh my right gosh, hand. This one's the biggest Don't one ever. pressure. Oh. Keep on cranking. Stop pumping. Just crank. Ah. Marvelous. The danger time, I think it's off. Like to get caught off in something. There he is. Oh, he's big. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> That's a monster. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. This thing's so short. It's got it's a warsaw. That's got to be a warsaw. Look at the dorsal fin. This is we call Cherda. Cherda, and it's, this isn't warsaw? The big dorsal fin? I, 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 I don't have Cherda. the experience of yeah. catching a warsaw like. Because in our Warsaws in the Atlantic, they have that, but it might be different. I don't, I don't know. You know, they got the big dorsal fin. When we're finished fishing today, we're going to take these grouper back to the Casabilla Lodge, and we're going to cook them. And we're going to show you how they prepare all the meals there. This five-star dining. We're going to make. I don't know what we're going to make with this thing, but it's going to be really good. When they eat this bait, it's like a dump truck just grabbed your line. It's insane. It just gets heavy. Like, hold on. Like right there, fish. Just reel, don't use the left hand, just reel. This one's smaller. I said that about a 400 pound Warsaw once too. Gonna work out in my favor. But he's away from the bottom now so I can relax. Take my time. Ooh, another big one. Look at that. Oh yeah, hey buddy, how you doing? Did you eat my bait? You ate my bait, didn't you? We used a bridled up bonita. I'm gonna bridle one up right now. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Put this guy in the box. He's not as big as the last one, but there's a much bigger one down there. We just lost one, so right there. That's a bridled bonita. See, the hook is fully exposed. So when you hook a fish, it gets, there's nothing in the bait. That makes, that gives you a huge advantage. Nothing in the world is better than a fresh bonita for bait. I don't care what you're fishing for. Roopers, mahi, blue marlin, wahoo, Kingfish, dolphin. I think you got him, bro. You got him. You got him. Real, real. Is that him? Is that him? Come on, Victor. You got a giant on there, dude. You got a giant on. There he goes again. Oh, you might have the biggest one of the day. Look at the focus in Victor's face right now, guys. I've never seen him more focused in my life. Come on, Victor. You got a good one on there. Come on. It's your first grouper ever. I'll tell you guys one thing. There's color, first of all. Whoa! 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 Oh, that's a good one, bro. Get him in the boat, get him in the boat. Wow, dude. Marvelous. You love catching blackfish, you love catching tautog, you love bottom fishing like I do, up in the Northeast, and you gotta come down here to Guatemala and fish for some of these. Oh, look at the rooster, uh, the big game. Uh... Oh, my, 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 give me, 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 there we go, Mahiot. Oh my Woo. gosh. Woo! Big full dolphin. Whoa! Oh. Hello! Hello! <laughs> okay, ready? Go. Body shot. That's such a good shot. All right, very good. He's in the boat. He's in the boat. Look at that full dolphin. We're fishing for groupers, and he shows up. That's a nice treat in Guatemala right there. But my gosh, that's a great bycatch. Dude, we had an amazing day of grouper fishing. We caught way more and way bigger grouper than I ever expected. You're the man. Excellent. Well, I'm happy that you had a great day. Yes, but the day's not over yet. We have to bring the grouper back to the dock, clean them, and then cook them at the lodge. Perfect. How's that sound? That sounds perfect. Let's go. We're now here in the kitchen at Casa Villa Lodge. I'm here with Sebastian, and we're gonna clean our grouper. We got this grouper right here. I don't remember the Spanish name for it, but I know this is the tastiest one, and we're gonna do the grouper recipes Guatemalan style, right? Guatemalan style. I'm excited. For the watermelon dish, we're roasting some garlic for some garlic butter. Then we're gonna put some onion and some ginger. 
Really? So is ginger a big thing here in Guatemala? Ginger, we use ginger, we use uh, those type of chilies. We're gonna have garlic butter, a little bit of herbs. This is the ginger. Ginger. We don't need like a really fine chop because we're still gonna put it on the blender. We're gonna use the dried chilies and the garlic just to put everything. Dude, you just cut with you, you. You weren't even looking. You were looking at me and you were cutting. That's crazy. It's just practice, you know. That's the burnt garlic. Yep. Oh wow. So everything comes out, and the garlic flavor because you roast it, it's a little bit more sweet, not that spicy. Plus the little butter on it. Yeah. Boom! You have roasted garlic butter. Wow. You toss the garlic so it doesn't cook. This is parsley. Just a little chop so all the flavor stays in the leaves. Just put this fresh parsley in the butter, make a little mix, and there you have it. Fresh parsley butter right here. We're putting butter. the grouper cheeks in the garlic butter with the parsley. Yes. This is my original Kobe recipe that we supercharged when we did our video in Destin. Now we're doing it the Guatemalan style. So for the white sauce, white wine, a little bit of flour and butter. Toss the butter, melt it, don't let it burn. The ratio is 50-50. So if you use one cup of butter, you use one, one cup of flour. And then bring it back to fire. This is called the roux. You have a brown roux or white roux. A little bit of white wine. Toss it. I mean, and this is what you're looking for. Looks like mashed potatoes. Yeah. It comes to milk. How much milk do you put in? Probably like three cups. Yep, we're gonna put some oregano, we're gonna put some basil. This is from the, the Casavia Garden. Casavia Garden. Wow. Yeah. So this is fresh oregano. You roll it, and then. Wow, look at that. We'll try it, and then we'll see how it tastes. Onion. We're gonna throw the fish, the garlic. This is a lot of flavor right here. Fully cooked. Just like that, it would be already good. All right, so five minutes, you think? Yeah, it's gonna be take five to six minutes. We're gonna try it. So that's that it. looks amazing. Boom. Oh my gosh. You can never have enough cheese. That should be good, right? You try the first bite. I'll try the first bite. A piece. Let me put a little bit of for everybody. One bite. One bite. One bite. One bite. Of Here, here's yours. Onion. Try it. With, we get to eat it with the onion. Okay. Oh. oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> now you know why you could charge big money for that, right? Wow. <laughs> Guatemalan recipe. Like, you need, you need like 10 seconds and then it really hits you. Yeah. Yeah. Like in the beginning, you're like, oh, it gets better. Gone. Gone. Not at all. Mmm. 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 Yeah, boys. In these two minutes, we're gonna do the rub oh, for the watermelon filet, fresh cilantro, the dried chilies, the burnt chilies. Everything's burnt. Everything, except the ginger. Salt the pepper. It's the churn up. So it's this Ooh. type of paste. Oh, wow. We're going to prepare this one, Guatemala style, for you to try. And this one, we're going to surprise you for dinner. Ooh. You know. So we have no idea you're going to cook this one? No idea. Not even me. Really? Yeah. So salt we're going to salt the pepper. Our fillets. This one? This is the cherna. It's cherna. So, then give it a little raw. Oh, right. Look at that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fillet it, take the blood out. Cilantro. Well, this is done. The fish is grilled. It's ready to eat. All 
right, grouper time. Oh my gosh, look at that. We just got our grouper plates here. This is Franz, the man, the, the legend, the grouper legend, and this is his family, his wife and his son. And we're gonna try out Sebastian's amazing grouper recipe. You gotta explain these to us, buddy. What do you okay, got here? What we have here is a little grouper with burner sauce, and then a burr blanc, with red onions, and white wine. And this is the watermelon type grouper. It had the paste that I told you about, rub it, and everything is on the grill. We're still trying to figure out what species of grouper these are in English. In Spanish, this is the... Cherna grouper. Cherna grouper. The cabrilla grouper. Cabrilla grouper. Sweet. Okay, there's my grouper. Cherna. Here we go, ready? Mmm. It's good, bro. It's really good. This is the, uh, which one is the, the spotted one? Cabrilla. Cabrilla. Cabrilla? Cabrilla, yeah. Cabrilla? All right, here we go. This is a really, look at how flaky and white that is. That is a beautiful fish texture. Here we go, ready? Mmm. Mmm. That one wins for sure. It's the flaky, you know? It's That's flaky. so nice. It's a little bit more soft. Mmm. The paste, I think, gives more, brings up more of the fish flavor. Exactly. This, this it, is like it's a little bit too much. The French cuisine has a lot of butter. It has a lot of yeah. creaminess. You know, this one it's more light, more fresh. Have you tried them yet? Yeah, I try everything I cook. That's right, right? Yeah, I cannot give you everything if I don't try it. You guys need to come down to Guatemala, come to Casavilla Lodge, and come catch. There's all kinds of fish you can catch here. You can catch sailfish, you can catch grouper, you can catch mahi, but the grouper. It was so much fun. How, how many did we get? Like, we got like nine and we lost some big ones. Yeah, we lost some real big ones, man. We gotta get some, we're, we're gonna get those big ones next time, guys. But seriously, this place is amazing. Fishing was insane, the boats are insane, the captains like Franz, very experienced, great experience. Everything was five star. So you guys go and check out Casavilla Lodge in Guatemala, the link is in the description. And also make sure you check out our Black Tip H store, all our new merch, it's online, blacktiph.com, or click the link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see our most recent video, click right here. If you want to subscribe, click right here. And we'll see you next time.